Everything's pretty much the same. And uh, there is traveling, but it's a lot different. Like, it's not just, you know, two steps you have to shoot and, like, able-bodied, but it's uh, two pushes and then you have to dribble. So, like, anytime you touch your wheel and move it one direction uh, twice, you have to dribble. The biggest difference is classification. The classification system works out as um, from 1 to 4 or 4.5. And whatever number you're designated is the number that designates how disabled you are. The lower the number, the higher your disability. The higher the number, the lower your disability. Then for the five players that are on the court, the sum of their numbers or their points can't add up to more than 14. So, I mean, it's kind of a mix and match, kind of like a Tetris game almost in a sense. Is It's not so much just the talented, tallest, you know, fastest kind of guys plays. It's, uh, you know, you have to add the numbers up. Our program is from about 5.30 in the morning to, I'd say, 8.30 in the morning. And that's from Monday to Friday. Throughout that, we get an opportunity at the very beginning to do drills and to work with the coach. And for that last hour, we will work and do workouts in the gym at the rec center. Um, a wheelchair that you use on a daily basis, you want it to be as skinny as possible and so that you're a little bit more mobile and can fit through smaller spaces. Yeah, the ones we use daily are really slow in a sense, I guess you could say it's like a Prius versus a Ferrari. Um, the uh, basketball chairs, they have a lot of angle to the wheels, which is called camber, and that gives you like um, ability to turn around faster. There is a skill that you can learn called tilting where you tilt over to the side of the chair, up in front um, against the one of the back wheels and one of the caster wheels in the front, and you balance yourself on those two. It gets you about half a foot higher, and for some people that is more than enough to get them above everyone else. Probably one of my favorite tattoos just because it's, you know, a guy dunking in a chair, you know, it's like no limits kind of deal. And um, it's symbolic of like a huge chapter in my life because, I mean, wheelchair basketball has changed me a lot. What I'd like the student community and just people in general to know about wheelchair basketball is simply the fact that it's there and that it is not just like a social program. It is a competitive sport that is out there for individuals who want to play it. It's one of my favorite experiences is being with this team and getting a chance to really be together.